there are many uh, ethical and legal co considerations around uh, human gene editing. And this, um, I mean, we have considered this for a long time, but there was really a, a new uh, vivid consideration from the birth of uh, genome edited babies, uh, genome edited twins uh, in China in 2018. And there, were, and there was many, uh, there, there were many reactions from the scientific community and also from the media and with some people uh, really opposing um, the modification of human germline and some uh, being more uh, flexible and thinking about uh, the therapeutic aspect of that. And, and from this point, I think the debate come back uh, on the front of the uh, scene and, uh, and, and we had to consider again the ethical and legal uh, issues. Um, but this, um, this new um, experiment um, uh, make, um, makes the debate focus on human germline editing. But in fact, if you consider human gene editing, uh, so there, are also, there is also human uh, somatic gene editing. Uh, so it means that you modify the, um, the gene of uh, somatic cells, and then the genetic modification uh, do not impact uh, the offspring. And this also raises uh, legal and ethical issues, but they are uh, well known. It's generally around uh, safety aspect of the product, um, regarding the protection of research participants and uh, and the protection of patients. And and then uh, so wide issues uh, that are linked also to patient inform information, prescription, manufacturing, distribution, sale, and all these issues are um, uh, raise uh, the, 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 I mean, mobilized the principle, ethical and legal principle of uh, autonomy and dignity and, uh, and safety and, uh, and these are quite well known. And then when you consider human germline uh, editing, so uh, here, the modification that you will make, the genetic modification is made either on gamete or on embryonic stem cells at a, uh, at a very early stage of their development. This change uh, may affect the genome we share, so the heritable genome. Uh, and this, uh, so that's the case following the birth of the Chinese baby. And this raised um, issues that are also well known from a long time uh, because they are linked to the question of use and access to embryonic stem cells. But we know these issues from the time um, uh, uh, we do research on embryonic stem cell and also from the de development of uh, assisted reproduction techniques. Uh, but it raises also new issues uh, around what should we accept or an authorized regarding the modification of heritable genome, um, and what is uh, humanity, and what uh, do the future generation have rights and how to protect them? Can we do this or not at the moment for the future generation? And these are. Uh, more collective issues because we need to think not only about uh, the patient or the research participants, but to also to the future generation and to the society at large uh, on the protection of uh, humanity, but also it is difficult to define, and of the human species. And there are also more general issues around uh, the question of access to these therapies if they are authorized. So they are for somatic gene editing generally, but if one day they are authorized for uh, human germline editing, how to access these therapies regarding the question of cost, reimbursement, and this is linked um, to national decision, at least in Europe, because this is, uh, uh, these are this, um, national decision on how to manage the national health budget. And then there are also questions legal and ethical also, uh, but practical uh, issues around facilities and how to 
uh, how and where to access these innovative therapies and what will be the impact on the national healthcare systems. Um, and of course, uh, this is linked to the question of cost because if you pay to access a very expensive uh, therapy, uh, you give, you take part of your global budget for that. And of course, this budget is not there for something else. So these are really, um, these are legal uh, choices, but before they are soci societal choices. Uh, 